Namaskara. I first want to thank <coughs> Sri Vaiji Mahindra and the entire family for giving me what I consider, and I'm not simply saying it, a great honor and a privilege to participate in this evening and to actually speak about Mrs. Dr. Mrs. YGP. Because I, people have spoken about her extended family. Not only do I consider myself a member of her extended family, but I also am a member of her vast international fan club. Or rather, I should say her club of devotees. Because I have long admired and been inspired by this lady of indomitable courage. This lady of such adventurous spirit. I've often told her, Mommy, people one quarter your age cannot have your zest for life, your great enthusiasm and your energy and vibrant energy. Not only that, I think her ever fresh creative spirit and vision, her, she was a great visionary and her capacity to make people love her. And I belong to one of those and so I thank you very much for inviting me. Many years ago I was invited by Rashmi Mami to be the chief guest at one of their um, school annual cultural events. I had never attended a PSBB cultural event before and I went there with great expectations knowing the reputation of the school and Mami. But I was astounded and astonished not only by the excellence of the performances but also by the meticulous organization, by the seamless coordination of a multitude of events with some 400 students. And I remember being totally dumbstruck and awestruck by this. I knew Herculean efforts had gone in, but it also occurred to me that behind all this, that there is a Shakti. People spoke of Shakti. There is a formidable force which gives, which lights up, which gives the energy to all the activities in these schools and in, to artists too. And I thought of her in a very strange way that it occurred to me that, you know, I had the good fortune of seeing great maestro conductors like Zubin Mehta conduct orchestras, vast orchestras of about 300 musicians. And it occurred to me that Mami was a conductor of ideas in education. That like a conductor draws the best out, knows exactly how to order the tempo of a concert and brings all those diverse musicians and elements together. So also Mami, I think, inspires, guides, shapes the students, brings together these very threads and creates a beautiful tapestry. I'm mixing my metaphors at this point because she started out as a conductor and now she is a weaver of tapestries, but she is all that. She is what I would think of as a Renaissance woman. And you, I don't use that term lightly because someone with her vast, very diverse capacities, but I must also say this, I know there are many of you and I don't want to take up too much time but if I might just speak of my personal feelings for her she had that amazing gift which again has been spoken about of drawing people to her this capacity like this master conductor to keep not 300 people together but people across the world and to to not command is the wrong word, I think to attract their love, their affection. You never forget what Mrs. YGP was to you. As a dancer, it is very strange for me to be standing on the stage where I have danced umpteen times, where a space where I've had some of my happiest dancing experiences. In fact, I have often said that dancing here for me is it's like the opening auspicious 
kacheri in the season if i dance here then i feel that the rest of the season will also go well and so it seems disorienting to see mommy's photograph rather than seeing her sitting there but i just want to add one point about what she would do people have again spoken about her remarkable critical discernment ability every performance we all know that famous impromptu speech she would make and it used to astonish me every time that she would tune in unerringly and intuitively to the most subtle the most delicate and the most elusive of qualities in the dance the nuances of the dance she did, you know you don't have to be sometimes i think this being a rasika is much overrated you know being a knowledgeable person because you talk about theory and you forget the heart you forget the spirit and the soul of the dance she was somebody who could directly reach out and she knew unerringly what was beautiful because her passion for beauty and truth was so great and my mother once said i thought i had presented something in one of my varnams which was very very subtle and i said nobody will even recognize it she said whether anyone recognizes it or notices it or not rashmi mami definitely will and true enough at the end of the performance she commented about it so in conclusion i just want to say that uh, this fact also is i think very important to me that doesn't matter or take up time <laughs> for me the passing of mommy has left a very great void as it has in the lives in the world of education and in the world of the art she was a great inspiration i think most of us when we performed here gave of our best and that was because it's not just the warmth and the intimacy that you have all created here but it is the presence of mommy there and the energy that she generated and the way she drew us all to her and transmitted that shakti to us so i would i just want to say that i will remember her always with deep love and gratitude i said of my master once i i said that borrowing the words of ben johnson about his great guru shakespeare he says he was not for an age he was for all time and i would like to say of mrs dr mrs vaiji patisarathi that she was not for an age she is for all time and we are all fortunate to have known her and had some part in her life thank you inga drama 